My plan benefits ordinary Americans, not those at the top who don't need the help. The middle class are going to get some tax cuts. Please watch this video till the end so you will not miss any news. West Virginia Cash Finally, if you live in West Virginia, the state may have some of your stimulus money as it is currently holding more than $7,700 in unclaimed stimulus checks, child tax credit, and others. What is the Back to Work Connecticut plan? Connecticut launched the Back to Work program back in May to get people on unemployment to get back into the workforce. Eligible applicants coming off long-term unemployment will receive a 1,000 check after certifying eight weeks back in the workforce. It goes to the first 10,000 unemployed individuals, FOX61 reported. Disappointing labor report. But there is hope that a future payment may be introduced as August's labor report was disappointing. Only 235,000 jobs were created which was far fewer than the 720,000 jobs economists were predicting. And weekly unemployment payments worth up to 300 per week were scrapped on September 6. What to do if you receive the math error notice? The worst thing you can do if you get a letter from the IRS is do nothing if you aren't sure. If you do not respond within 60 days of receiving the notice, the adjustment is final and the IRS can start collections. Additionally, you'll lose the right to file a petition in the U.S. tax court. However, there might be an exception to this, as this process has been a mess. Contacting the IRS about math errors. More than 5 million taxpayers were sent a math error notice this year without the 60-day language being included. As a result, the IRS resending some letters with clear language and is restating the time you have to respond. If you have any concerns about the letter, you could speak and review your account with a representative at 800. 829-8300704 Michigan Classroom Heroes Program In February, teachers in Michigan received $500 as part of the MI Classroom Heroes grants proposal media reported. More than $50 million was dedicated for teachers and around $20 million was set aside for support staff. The grants were for teachers in K-12 through full or part-time education and didn't apply to substitutes. Some towns in Texas get payouts. There were no statewide stimulus measures introduced by lawmakers in Texas, but teachers in Irving received a check worth up to $2,000 when they returned to the classroom, according to media. Payments were deposited on or just a few days after August 31. Meanwhile, district employees in Arlington saw their pay rise by 4% Social Security. The program aims to provide seniors monthly payments, which can be claimed at age 62. In 2021, the average pensioner on Social Security benefits earns $1,543 a month. And thanks to the cost of living adjustment, COLA, now expected to rise next year to 6.2%, those checks could be boosted to nearly $1,639 month on average. However, while Social Security payments appear to be getting a boost in the short term, the longer term comes into question. According to various reports in the media, Social Security benefits are now projected to be cut by 2034. To avoid this, Congress would need to take action and address the depleting long-term funds of the program. Assuming Congress does nothing, Reports in the media suggest that seniors might only get 75% to 78% of their promised Social Security benefits. If this were to happen in 2022, then the average pensioner could find their checks reduced to about $1,229 per month. However, many financial experts are advising not to panic. Financial and tax planning firm Monotilo Advisors notes that it might not be a wise idea to start collecting as soon as you're eligible despite the Social Security getting potentially cut in a decade plus. If you start taking your benefits as soon as allowed, they will be reduced to 70% of your full retirement age benefit, Monotilo said. According to Go Banking Rates, comparing this to the 75% that could be received even after the fund runs out, you would still be hurting your retirement by applying early. 
Furthermore, there is still plenty of time before that happens and for Congress to act. Democrats call for more cash. Meanwhile, 21 Democrat senators have called on President Joe Biden to give recurring checks to Americans in need. The March 30 letter reads, We urge you to include recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to economic conditions in your Build Back Better long-term economic plan. While we are pleased that the American Rescue Plan included a one-time direct payment and an extension of federal unemployment insurance programs, a single direct payment will not last long for most families, and we are worried about the cliff-facing unemployed workers when the unemployment insurance extensions expired on September 6. A Change.org petition urging for monthly stimulus checks, which was put into action last year by Denver restaurant owner Stephanie Bonin, has reached 2,882,500 signatures as of Tuesday. The petition reads, I'm calling on Congress to support families with a $2,000 payment for adults and a $1,000 payment for kids immediately, and continuing regular checks for the duration of the crisis. Otherwise, laid-off workers, furloughed workers, the self-employed, and workers dealing with reduced hours will struggle to pay their rent or put food on the table. With businesses and schools closing across the country to control the spread of this virus, many people have already lost their jobs, others are being forced to stay home. Who is eligible for the Golden State Stimulus? Californians that earn less than $75,000 are eligible to claim a stimulus check, but there are some conditions attached. Taxpayers must also have a valid social security number to claim the cash and they must not have received the first payment, according to national interest. There is a special $1,000 check for taxpayers in California with an individual taxpayer identification number. Americans that use ITINs are not eligible to claim federal stimulus payments. Taxpayers eligible for the payment are urged to submit their 2020 tax returns before October 15 tax return date. The Internal Revenue Service today reminds taxpayers about the upcoming October 15 due date to file 2020 tax returns, the agency stated in a release. People who asked for an extension should file on or before the extension deadline to avoid the penalty for filing late. The agency is hoping to impress on those Americans who are owed a refund that there is usually no penalty to file those people who wait too long to file and claim a refund, risk losing it altogether. And for anyone who still needs to file a 2020 tax return and owe tax but didn't request an extension, can generally avoid additional penalties and interest by filing the return as soon as possible and paying any taxes owed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more news and updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.